Downtown Albuquerque has taken its criticism over the years. The controversial art project, crime, COVID, more crime. Yeah. Now Albuquerque leaders say for the first time ever, police will have a building in what should be the beating heart of our city. Ryan Laughlin looks at how this factors into the overall public safety plan for downtown now, Ryan. Yeah, guys, Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina put it this way. Today was about adding another building block to the grander plan of making downtown safer and bringing back business to the center of the Duke City. And some business owners say perception is as big of a problem as the crime itself. Por vida means for life. Downtown, right there. And the brothers behind the tattoo shop at 4th and Cole know and live the meaning. Yeah, yeah, we were probably like 18. They grew up not far from downtown Albuquerque. What's it like to be in business with uh, your family member? Oh, I love it. Yeah, we, we look out for each other, you know? It's been great. Helm Cisnero says the brothers set up shop at this location less than two years ago. Yeah, a lot of my clients come from uh, not so populated areas, you know, even just the suburbs here in Albuquerque. They're not used to seeing that stuff, so. About the same time, the city moved into another vacant building just up the street. This is the first time in the modern era that Albuquerque has had a dedicated downtown team. A new police substation at 3rd and Central is part of a slow and steady plan to better police downtown. And the new team or targeting enforcement action and monitoring plan. It's $130,000 worth of police overtime paid for by downtown businesses. Last week, for example, uh, they canceled the Wednesday and they brought in additional resources on a Friday and a Saturday because of the fact that uh, they knew there were going to be bigger crowds here because of the state fair. And they actually had really high numbers during that week. In less than one month, team patrols downtown have led to 100 citations and six arrests. Downtown believes in this. They are the ones asking us to do this. And the brothers down the street agree. The presence of the police officers downtown, you know, it makes them feel safe. And so that's good for my business. That downtown substation is going to be open weekdays from 8 to 5 p.m. The city says they have plans in the works to invest $1 million in new lights and cameras up and down Central. Guys?